Hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of you guys asked me about a tutorial on how to add mobile controls for an FPS shooter game. And that's what we are going to implement. Actually I have created a video for that. But it's out of date. Now we have the new input system that we can use. And without any further ado let's dive right in. So in the last episode, we've created this simple FPS shooter from a starter asset that comes with a new version of Unity Hub. We can move using the AWSD keys. We've added the shoot feature with the left mouse button. But at this point, we didn't have the buttons to play the game on a mobile device. Actually, they have created this UI canvas. If you enable it from the inspector, you see that we have few buttons for example, this joystick to move the player. We have the jump button. And the second joystick is used to move the camera. But at this point, we can test the game on the Unity editor. Because each time I try to move the joystick, the mouse cursor is hidden. To solve that, we can select the player capsule. That has this first person controller. And the starter assets input script. You see that we have these options, cursor locked, that are related to the mouse cursor. I'm gonna uncheck these. And let's hit play again. And as you can see, we can move the player using the joystick. Also, we can jump. For now, we are checking if we have pressed the left mouse button. We shoot. We are going to disable that if we are using the mobile controls. So they haven't added a button to shoot because we have created this in the previous video. First, you have to understand how these buttons work. Basically, each button or UI element, like the jump button, has a script that is called UI virtual button, and it contains two Unity events. If you are not familiar with Unity events, it is something that we can fire or trigger, and all of the functions that are subscribed to it will be called. For example, we have this button state output event, which is triggered each time we press the jump button in this case. And the functions that we set under this list will be called. For this button, the function is called virtual jump input. And it is created under a script that is attached to this UI canvas. Let's open it up in Visual Studio. You see that it contains a reference to the starter assets inputs that we have talked about in the previous video, which controls the player. It has these booleans like jump, sprint, and shoot. So each time we press the jump button, we have this function virtual jump input that is called, which is accessing the starter assets inputs and calling this jump input function that changes the jump boolean to true each time we press the button. If you hold down the control key and press this function, we can open it up. It is under the starter assets inputs. It is changing the boolean jump to this boolean. For example, if we press the jump button, it's going to be true. Let's try to add another button so that we can shoot. The same thing, we can create a button under this UI canvas. Or I will simply duplicate the button jump or sprint using Ctrl D. And let's change the name to shoot. As I said, we have this UI virtual button script that triggers this button state output event each time we press the button. In such case, we can call a function from this script, UI canvas controller input. It is attached to the canvas. Let's open it up again. I will use the same naming convention, but it doesn't matter which name you use. Let's add public void, and I'm gonna call it virtual shoot input. This will take a boolean. I'm gonna call it virtual shoot state. Then we can access the starter assets inputs. Then dot shoot, which is the boolean that we have created in the previous video. And we can set it to the value of the virtual shoot state. Now let's use this function from our new button shoot. Of course, we have referenced the object. And now I'm able to select the function 
UI canvas controller input, then virtual shoot input. Of course, we have to move our new button at a different position by changing the X pose and the Y pose. And let's change its UI sprite. Under this button, we have the image icon. Let's replace it with another one, like this UI icon shoot, which I have imported recently. Now let's test again by hitting the play button. We still have both controls. I can move using the AWSD keys and with the joystick at the same time. We can switch to the mobile controls by selecting the Android platform. You could go to file, then build settings. I have an Android device, but you could add the iOS module if you want. And let's hit switch platform. Once it's done, we can test the project again. And there you go, now we could only use the mobile controls. And the PC controls are disabled when we have switched it to the Android platform. I can shoot using this button. Also we can jump and sprint, but I can't do it with one mouse. Let's try to build our game. If you haven't watched one of my videos about building a game for mobile, Make sure to check it out, I'm gonna add a link to it under the description. It's really simple, you have to go to the build settings, select the Android platform or iOS, then we can hit build, and that will create an APK file. Let's put it under the desktop, you could call it whatever you want, like build test, then hit save, and save again. It's gonna take a little bit of time to build the APK file. So let's wait, and once it's done, we can move this APK file to our mobile phone. I have this Galaxy A12. Let's copy it, and they will paste it under the internal storage using right-click paste. And finally, we can install this build by pressing it from the internal storage. And let's hit install, then we can open it. And there you go, we can move using the joystick. I can shoot using this button. And we can look around with this joystick on top. So I think that's pretty much it guys for this video. I hope you like it. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.